Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Brett, <laughs> Brett of NYC's. Uh, we're checking out another lager. Yes, you're gonna hear that a lot uh, because people are just like thinking, "Oh fuck, oh, not more lager God reviews." Damn it. We hate lagers. Uh, fuck. Fucking, what's wrong with Same you? Same shit. But Drink different. some more pastry stout and hazy IPA, yeah. man. Just <laughs> drop those flavorings and no. Yeah. No, this will be fun. This is a fucking this is artwork. It reminds me of you know the mountain, the web shop. They sell like t-shirts with big faced animals or wolves and like or dragons. It pigs. reminds me of what and pigs. Yeah, and also pigs. <laughs> everything. Uh, but they do artwork like this. This is Cherish the Day by Alvarado Street. So they they call this like an American lager, American light lager. Yeah. On five percent, and you can see like the idea with it being a light lager because it's. Very pale, yeah. so it's just probably just Pilsner malt, maybe some adjuncts like rice or corn or something. It's super light. It's fun to see some breweries. It's a thing in the states now. Some breweries are doing light lagers, American light lagers, but trying to do them in a craft way so that they're actually nice and have flavor, yeah. which is quite fun. It's it's a more blank, light canvas, so you can express hops quite well if you want to do hoppy uh, hoppy lagers, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, but I remember Night Shift when I was there, they had a, a, a lager called Night Light. And even like Modern Times, does Modern Times Ice, I think. Mm. But I'm not sure that's yeah, year round. But yeah, it's called Cherish the Day. And apparently, Alvarado Street does another lager called Nelson Lager. What's it? Oh, with Nelson Yeah, Pills? yeah, yeah. Or something. Nelson. And, and so. I'm just gonna get it. This <laughs> paper. From what, what I gather, is like around. the second batch of Cherish the Day. But yeah. it's supposedly, it, it was meant to be Nilsson Pills, but yeah. Nilsson Pills is more hot had too this. little of like a hop character, so they changed it to being yeah, Cherish Yeah, they decided the day. to turn it into yeah. Cherish the day. So they... maybe Nilsson Pills is like an amped up version of this. Yeah. You could imagine, but I'm not sure. But I, I don't know, I haven't had it. At least that's the case with the recent yeah. It sounded like that. Because they haven't done this otherwise since 2018? Uh, no. Yeah, so the last, the first batch was from 18 and this is from November 19, so. so. But hey, let's check out this light lager <laughs> yeah. crackery. I mean, it really looks like it. It looks, it's so pale yellow, it's crazy. Yeah. Look at that. It looks darker on camera though, but it but is it's so pale. Lightly hazy. Lemony. Yeah, a nice white head. Limey. Yeah. I think this is going to be really nice after some barrel aged beer to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I think so. Let's check out the aroma. It yeah. smells quite nice. It's really nice. Yeah. It smells kind of like you mashed up a but, North German Pilsner and American light lager. Because it has like this very expressive hop character. Like really like lemony also like watery passion fruit if that makes sense. <laughs> that is a perfect descriptor. Watery passion fruit yeah. or watery goose. Like berry. if you like took out all the sugar. Yeah, yeah. but I think that's Nelson. Like left like all the freshness and like the... Acidic compounds yeah. only. Or Almost like, like um, like <laughs> seltzer. <laughs> Sorry, uh, dense bed. Yeah, seltzer yeah. or mineral. What no sparkling water. Yeah. Sparkling water with uh, passion fruit flavor. Not in a bad way. I mean, no, it's no, not no. this beery thing, but it's like a subdued lemony, limey, like unsweetened I, passion fruit. I think it smells better than the. Uh, yeah, the other one. Non-call. Right? But it really t smells like you smashed up a North German Pilsner with an American light lager. Yeah. Because it has the hopping of a North German and I think but the Nelson Pilsner. But like Pils, Nelson. Yeah. Hops. I think the Nelson Pilsner then is very IPL-like. I think Because so, this yeah. smells more to what I want from Pilsners. Like, I want the authentic kind of like traditional vibes with a restrained, balanced hoppiness. Not like, whoa, it's like I'm drinking a India Pale Lager like lager IPA mm. whatever I, 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 lager version of an IPA but this isn't like traditional no not at all it, it's but I'm just a, it's saying it, you can sense this yeah, is yeah. almost of course. This it has is like, dry hopping it, yeah yeah but it has the same restraint yeah yeah, uh, and, yeah and that's what I'm I'm saying that's what I want in like North German lager I think or just lager Pilsner Pilsner specifically yeah. because it's a hop forward of the lagers because I feel like it suits it really well because you mm. get other nuances too. And then you can play around with subtlety and subtlety of the different hops instead of just like going overboard. Yeah, yeah. And the IPAs. Um, Funny thing, we, we really talked good. about rice. I'm almost getting like a bit of like rice cake 
I was saying, I was about to, uh, before that, I said cereal grain, like corn. Like a yeah, corny but, yeah, cereal. but I can it see reminds rice me of like rice, or, these or rice have you ever cakes. Smelled, have you smelled rice hulls that you use for brewing if they're like wet? Yeah. So, but it's like, it's this ricey starchy like, corny Because it's so sweet. light. Mm, yeah, like, yeah. But also, thanks a ton to Beardin for the beer, we forgot to mention them, but this is where we got it from. They're pretty much the only place in Europe where you can get El Dorado. Except it. for Himmelin. But Himmel, yeah, but that's a story yeah. in Copenhagen. But here you can bar. buy it online. So, and yeah, or a bar. Not yeah. A store. Well, right now they're running it as a store. Yeah. Much. But but check out Beer Jump. They have lots of stuff. They get it at Alvarado Street every once in a while along with other California breweries. Mm. But let's give Cherish the Day a taste. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. Ah, mm. oh, that's refreshing. That's yeah. perfect right now. It is more towards on the flavor of a German lager than like a really new school German, yeah, North German lager yeah. because but, of that Nelson flavor. But I will still stand by the the saying that like German lager, uh, um, it's in that kind of vein. Yeah, but mashed up with uh, American light lager because it's really lacking on the body and malt flavor that you get in the North German lager. Yeah, it is. It, it doesn't very have light. the body. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's very light, but it's okay. I mean, it's really drinkable. Mm. And it has that, like, ricey, grainy... But the thing is, it just... It's crafted in a way that actually tastes nice. And you have the yeah. hops to support it. It tastes everything. really nice. It, it does. It does. It just has a slight cereal grain kind of flavor. Which is interesting, because if you compare them to the big guys when they make it... It's so, like, sweet, corny. Yeah. Corn syrup, almost. Just but this... Cheap. This, Tasting. Yeah, but this, this is made with corn or rice, and but it, well, I guess it is. It tastes like it. Mm. They call it an American uh, light yeah. lager online. So, but it, it has like almost that flavor. Yeah, and also like the color because it is so light. Maybe yeah. you know they could also just be pills from all, but it has that thing. It like light lager, cereal grain kind of thing. But it's just tastes like it's done right because yeah. it's not like sweet and shitty tasting and there's actually some hops and it doesn't have that like sweet corn syrup or anything yeah again and the age super lemony yet no the, the age, age doesn't really show so, uh, like, i know beer gym now mostly gets all their cans cold shipped mm. if this comes in cold ship from the states stored in a, a cooling room as soon as like, it in arrives. a cool warehouse yeah. It's gonna last so much longer. Mm. It doesn't. This doesn't have any problems holding no. up, not at all. This is one of those uh, like go-to beers I'd love to have in the fridge. Yeah, like just a, a really nice, refreshing mm. drink. And then it's a bit fun because it has the Nelson qualities. Just lightly, it has a little bit thing of like white grape gooseberry type vibes, and, and almost as you said, like it's like white grape gooseberry, unsweetened passion, passion fruit. fruit, but watery versions. If you can say, because it's not like that fully explosive. It's just there as a nuance, but it's mm. that's how you're it supposed to do like it. Doesn't have that like oaty thing you usually associate with like New England IPAs and passion fruit. It doesn't mm. have that sweetness underneath it to like boost. But it just suits it because it's a lager. Yeah. It's not a fucking IPA. And that just goes to show that you can also play around with awesome modern hops and lagers mm. if you do, do it gently. I think if you crazily hop this, like you do an IPA, it wouldn't suit the beer. Mm. It would be a, a more of a mishmash of a beer because everything is so light and delicate. Mm. Making beer is actually fucking complex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes it more complex that it's lightly hopped. Yeah, I mean, yeah. in general, like the way you need to think of things. Mm. How do they work, right? Yeah, it's like as you... Talked about is like being a, a, a cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you have to like think about how much do I put in of every spice and like salt and pepper and yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Like we talked about onion on camera and and comparing it. To yeah, yeah, but there's similarities. It's the same sure. thing, you know. How much should I put in? And you, if you just overload it with like a f half a kilo of a fucking onion, it. it yeah, you of course it, it will taste a lot of onion. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense, but you know you want the onion to play like a part of the, the whole in experience of of the taste. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this has got to be the longest review of an American light lager yeah. ever. Yeah, uh, but I, th I don't think I have much more to say. Then no, me neither. I think it's great. Yeah. It's super sensual, super drinkable. Yeah, I, I would actually go as far as giving this a ninety. Yeah, I think I'll go eighty-eight. 
I, th- I think I, I really yeah. like it, but it's I like something like Thibaut Peels is just a bit more my drill. Than I this. like that more too. So maybe okay, yeah, because I give Thibaut Peels around the same grade. So okay, yeah, maybe 88, 89, mm. 89, something like that. That's true. Also I because this is definitely- also because that beer has more of a malt backbone, a little bit more yeah. of a malt complexity than this, but it's just so refreshing and drinking. Mm. It is, but I like when it has a bit more of a balance. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bit too hoppy but for being a pilsner to I, my taste. I, I don't think so. I think it's right on the edge. Yeah. Right on the edge. Yeah, but to my taste, I like. I like the North German or as some claim it typical Peters to be Italian yeah. pilsner. I'm pretty sure North German or other German brewers also st- dry, have dry hops uh, their lagers before. But somehow the Italians got a claim, yeah, and yeah, yeah, now a dry hop but North German Pilsner them, is like, called an Italian Pilsner. But Biafisio Italiano say themselves, or yeah, yeah, yeah. And like they took, it's, it's like a North German Pilsner, so yeah. like they don't claim to be. It's like, just a new thing to call it in the craft beer yeah. industry. They Italian don't claim Pilsner. anything. No, the Germans were first. Yeah, and still my favorites in terms of uh, making great lager. Mm. German Pilsner for me is the best. Uh, but yeah, of the two lagers today, this is definitely the clear winner. So, uh, yeah, 89, I think. For the Cherish the Day by Eldorado Street. Another beer that I would just love to have an, as, an, as an everyday beer. Such a nice, drinkable beer. So, if you guys had a chance to try Eldorado Street Cherish the Day, let us know what we thought of it. As always, when you comment, subscribe to the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And more, I want to say cheers. And cheers. I'm going to finish this and see you guys in another beer video.